Hey everyone, welcome back to Geek Strong. In today's video, it's all about... What? Hello, my name is Boo. <laughs> Let me finish. Booberry. Let's do this! Oops! Sorry about that, Frankenberry. Here we have the brand new 2023 Jada Toys Booberry action figure. Being a kid that grew up in the 70s and 80s, it was always fun and exciting to go to the grocery store with your family because you knew this was your chance to pick out your cereal of the week. And you didn't pick it because of the cereal. You picked it for the toy. At least I did. But look at today. Kids don't get that same excitement. Look at all these cereal boxes. You're not going to see one toy surprise in any of these cereal boxes. And that's pretty sad. I wonder if that's part of the reason why kids don't play with toys today. Because of the cereal. Bring back the cereal prizes, please. As you can see, the packaging is incredible. It glows in the dark. That is pretty cool. And not only does the box glow in the dark, but the figure also glows in the dark. And I'll show you that in a second. Back in the day, cereal boxes came with surprises, including a cutout that you can make a mask. And that's why the packaging has that booberry face, because back in the 70s, you could actually cut out the back of the cereal box and have one of your characters as a like a Halloween mask. And that's pretty cool. Booberry came out in 1973 when I was a kid, and you could actually purchase that cereal and as well as all the other monster cereals all season long it was only until 2009 when they made it seasonal so only around the fall october time now you can only purchase that cereal and that's kind of sad my ghostly good blueberry flavored cereal blueberry <laughs> is part of this complete breakfast growing up in the 70s and 80s blueberry was definitely my favorite character definitely my favorite cereal to purchase but if you ask me today I gotta go with Count Chocula because Booberry and Frankenberry actually kind of taste nasty. Um, I don't remember Fruit Brute too much. I do have a few of the toys. I even have one of the vintage toys from back in the 70s. But yeah, Booberry was my favorite character, but Count Chocula is now my favorite cereal to eat. Here he is glowing in the dark, and yeah, this looks super cool. And Booberry must glow in the dark. You gotta have him glow, right? Comes with a figure stand, and a figure stand comes with a ball, which is pretty cool because now you can make him float any which way you want. You can float like left or right. Yeah, pretty awesome. I love it. He does have minimal articulation. His arms and hands do move. His head spins around. Great detail. I love it. Fantastic looking. Here is the cereal box. It does have a little grit to it. That must be the glow in the dark. Super cool box. Unfortunately, he can't hold the box. Frankenberry and Count Chocula could definitely hold the cereal box because they have a grip. But Booberry's arms don't close enough and he doesn't have a grip to hold the cereal box. So I guess I have to just put it in front of him. But that's fun. Unfortunately, I don't have Count Chocula or Frankenberry's box in hand. They're up in the attic. But Booberry's box is a lot smaller and the character is smaller, of course. But I wish the box was the same size as the other two. Yes, but he has a neck. Frankenberry really didn't have a neck. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, that broke. That's not cool. So, bummer, man. And, um, yeah. So these are a little fragile, it looks like. Fragile is an understatement. So Jada Toys and NECA figures are definitely my nemesis. But I love them. They're great sculpts, so I'm going to continue purchasing them. And these figures look fantastic together. Booberry, of course, glows in dark, and that is so cool. I love it. So I'm super happy. Thank you, Jada Toys, for making these figures. I think they look fantastic, and they're a great addition to my Monster Cereal collection. Here it is. Check it out. 
The taller figures in the back were mailaways from the 70s, and those are super cool. I had them as a kid. Unfortunately, probably threw them away or whatnot, but they are back in my collection. I would really love to get some vintage cereal toys from this collection, and yeah, I love it. Glow in the dark, what more could you ask? Super cool collection, awesome. Frankenberry, Cult Chocula, <laughs> and Blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. Remember, we are all Geek Strong. Take care, everyone.